Today I'm going to talk about how to meditate and also why someone would want to meditate. And let's start with the why. Well, meditation is a way for people to create a little bit of separation between their body, their thoughts, their mind, and the deeper parts of themselves. Some people might call this a soul, some people might call this a spirit, some people might call this their true self, um, whatever you want to call it, I believe that that exists. And I can give you a quick example because I could say to something, you could say this to me, I could say this to you, I could say, uh, you know, my body is, you know, giving me problems. Let's just say my arm hurts, uh, my head hurts, okay? So I can identify with my body, but I am saying my, as in like I'm in possession of it. So are you just your body? Well, you also have your mind, right? Well, you have the, this mind that can think and create thoughts, but I'm sure you've also had times where you've said something or done something using your mind and using a thought or, or whatever it might be. And, and you might've even said, why did I even think that? Why did I say that? Why did I do that? That's not me. That's not the real me. So who is the real you? If you did that act, if you had the thought, if you did, you know what I'm saying? Who's behind the scenes? Who's the, the real person or real entity or whatever it might be? So we tend to, even if we don't believe in a spirit or a soul, we tend to kind of act it out in life because there's always something deeper inside of us. And so meditation is a way to connect to that deeper layer. Again, you can call it what you want, but it's just a way to kind of peel back and get into the, you know, the deeper layers of the onion, if you will, into the, the real essence and the source. Because it, I, I like to think of us as kind of like puppets and um, you know the the source of that, the spirit, the soul is kind of like the puppeteer, right? We're in control of this body. We're in control of our mind. We're in control of our thoughts. But life sometimes can throw us curveballs, and we become very reactive. We are acting out in a way that we necessarily we don't necessarily want to. Like I said, why did I say that? Why did I do that? Why did I punch the wall? Like I don't want to hurt my hand. I don't want to hurt the wall, but I did it. I still did it. So there's the subconscious acts that come out in emotion or, or whatever it might be. But if we were connecting to that deeper layer of ourself, maybe wouldn't, we wouldn't be doing those acts. So if we were a little bit more conscious. So that's what meditation does, is it allows you to be a little bit more conscious by connecting to that deeper layer of yourself, your true self, your higher self, your spirit, your soul. And so that's one of the reasons why I like to meditate is because life can pull you in all these different directions. You can identify with your body, like I'm a personal trainer and it's body, body, body all the time. And then, you know, it's, it's a psychology and mind trying to get the body what to do. And then it's writing and reading and doing it. It's, it's one thing after the next and dealing with other people and traffic. And it's just, it, you sometimes get caught up in it. And so taking a moment to step back and just breathe can allow for everything to kind of reset and recalibrate. I made a video on consciousness is like a GPS system, and that's exactly how you're gonna meditate. You basically, you set in the goal, so this is now we're getting into the how. The how to meditate is you put into your GPS system, what's my goal? So for meditation, it's going to be something very simple. You're gonna focus on my breathing. I'm gonna sit quietly, and I'm gonna focus on my breathing and I'm going to observe my body. I'm going to observe my mind. I'm going to observe my thoughts. Because again, you're, you are that deeper layer. The true part of you is that deeper layer. So we're going to connect to that source and just observe what's going on. And so we use the breath. I've talked about this in other uh, videos as well, that the breath is a bridge between the subconscious and the conscious. Because maybe right now as I'm talking, I'm not conscious of my breathing because I'm talking and I'm thinking and I'm moving my hands and I'm doing all this stuff, but I can also slow down and I can go breath in, 
breath out. So it's conscious, it's subconscious, it's a bridge in between both those worlds. So that's why we focus on the breath. And also teach you uh, another method of meditation using some mantras. So some things that you can repeat in your head and you can even just repeat with following your breathing. You can even do something as simple as in and out. So as you're breathing in, you just say the word in and out. You breathe the word, you say the word out inside your head. You don't have, you're not gonna say it out loud. You're gonna just repeat these words inside. So the basic way of, of meditation is you're just gonna sit quietly and you're going to observe your breathing. And so you can do that by sitting in a chair, right? I don't have to, if it's uncomfortable for me to sit cross-legged on the floor, you know, all the way down, I don't know if you can see me, um, but I can sit in a chair and I just wanna have my hands open or I can touch my uh, pointer finger to my thumb, but I don't wanna touch maybe the other fingers, probably just this finger is, is, is safe. Um, to do that, but mainly just open hands, palms up. You want to stay as tall as you can with your posture. But if you have any issues with that, using a, a wall or using a, like a back of a chair is very, very helpful. And that's also another way to feel secure uh, is having something behind you. It's kind of like a primal instinct, you know, behind uh, we, we, you know, if you see an animal, they kind of they back into, you know, a corner where they where they feel safe. That's also for us as well. So having a wall or having something behind you to support or a pillow can be beneficial, but you wanna to try to stay as straight with your spine and upright as you can comfortably, okay? So that's it. And then all you're gonna do is close your eyes. You breathe in, you feel the breath coming in, you hear the breath coming in, you let it out. You can breathe in through your nose both ways. You can breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, in through your mouth, out through, it doesn't matter. Just breathe and focus on your breathing. And so invariably you're gonna get distracted. You're gonna think about, man, I gotta cook dinner tonight. Oh, did I get the carrots? Did I, oh crap, did I forget to do that email? You're gonna have all these different thoughts that we have throughout the day. When you catch yourself not focusing on your breath, because that's again our goal, our GPS system is Hey, we're going to the breath. We're going to the breath. You're just going to recalibrate. Oh, I'm over here thinking about dinner. I'm thinking about my emails. I'm going to bring it right back to the breath. Get distracted. You hear something. What was that? Was that a bomb? Is this World War III? No. Okay. It's just the neighbors. Breathe in, breathe out, and you just keep focusing on the breath. So that's all you do. You set up maybe a time for yourself or you're just going to sit there and, and, and do it for however long. But that's all you're doing when you are meditating. You're observing and watching your breath. You're observing the thoughts as they come through. You catch yourself and maybe you sit down for five minutes. You take one breath in, one breath out. And then all of a sudden for the next five minutes, your thoughts are just going, going, going. The timer goes off and then you go, wait a second, I was supposed to be focusing on my breath. I didn't, I only focused on my breath, maybe in that first breath, that's it. That's fine, you took the time to sit down and you did the practice. That's all you need to do. So you get better and better at it as you practice something, right? Practice makes perfect, but don't beat yourself up, right? When you catch yourself, say, oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about something else. Focus on the breath. And again, you start to then see the thoughts coming in and you can start to anticipate. You start to see it coming and you go, okay, I'm just gonna let that thought slide by. And you kind of create this little bit of separation between your brain, your body, your thoughts, and that true self behind it. A great meditation called Ishakriya from Sadhguru uh, and if you haven't looked up Sadhguru's work, is fantastic. Um, he talks a lot about you know, the traditional yoga, um, not just the physical yoga, the uh, uh, lots of different things for your mind, your body, your spirit, your health, everything. So um, he talks about, and I, I was reading his book, Inner Engineering, and that's where I learned it, is, is a basic meditation. And on the in-breath, you can repeat in your head, I am not this body. On the out-breath, on the exhale, I am not this mind. I am not this body on the inhale. I am not this mind. You can also say, I am not this body. I am not even these thoughts. And you just kind of 
Keep saying and repeating those words. Always, I am not this body on the inhale. And then you, I like to switch back and forth between I am not this body, I am not this uh, mind, and I am not even these thoughts on the exhale. You just keep that in mind as you're going through, matching your breathing in and out, in and out with those statements. Again, just saying it in your head. And that helps you connect to the fact that you aren't your body. You, you have a body. It's a possession of yours, but it's not you. You have a mind. It's not you. You have thoughts. It's not you. You are something deeper than that. And that's what meditation is for, is just taking that time to connect to that deeper level of yourself. And so that's how you meditate. That's why you might want to consider meditation. There's great relaxation benefits, but there's deeper benefits as well. And I'm not going to you know, impose and, and say, hey, this is what you're going to get out of it. I always just tell people, experience it for yourself. Take the time. Even I even wrote a book uh, many years ago, uh, a little ebook that I'm actually rewriting right now, but it was called Two Minute Meditation. And I'm changing the title and adding more to it because I, when I first released it, I didn't um, release the whole ideas, you know, the entire idea that I wanted to in the book. I kind of shortened it and said, all right, just two minute meditation, which was just practice meditation any which way you can. Two minutes a day, you can see results if you take the time to do it. And so it doesn't take a lot of time to do it, but you've got to make it consistent. Like I said, anything that you do, you practice it, you're going to get better. Consistency is how you're going to get there. So it doesn't have to take a ton of time. You don't have to do it 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the evening. Just start to do it two minutes, five minutes, 10. It doesn't matter. Just start to do it and start to see what are some of the benefits. And I'd love to hear like, comment, subscribe if this is something that you are enjoying, but especially with the comments. I love the interaction. I want to know what you're thinking, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on meditation as well. But that's how I've been meditating. That's some of the reasons why I do as well to, again, connect to that deeper level of myself and to remind myself that I am not just a sack of meat. I'm not just these thoughts because sometimes we have thoughts that go in and out and you react and instead of just, you know, really connecting to who and what you're all about. And again, who is that really? The more you can do that, the more that becomes natural and you don't have to constantly react and or overreact to certain situations around you. You can choose how you want to and you can align with that higher, greater part of yourself and the world. And you can see that in other people as well and connect to that in other people as well. So that's meditation. Try it for yourself. And until next time, I'll see you then.